so pine forests, which for those of you who have been to Greece and gone to some of the islands, very dry country and the pine smells, it just resonates through the air. We have pine trees here, but we have much more moisture. So it's a little bit different smell. And uh, I, I just like what, the, what you said, it, is, it escorts. So one of the things that you told me, it's really cool, is that um, they only use the Rexina from a very specific pine tree. Exactly. Which one? It's called Pinus Halepensis. Okay. And uh, you can find it uh, in many places in Greece. Uh, uh, we usually take it from uh, Halkiviti. Okay. And um, it has a, a, a nice story behind it because uh, not everybody can harvest the pine resin. It should be uh, people that uh, they need the money and have a special license from the state and uh, they maintain the forest in an amazing condition because the forest is very vital for them so they can take out the pine resin and they sell it to us. It's like maple syrup in Quebec. Something like that. I mean, and, yeah, it's, when, I, when I read about the maple syrup and the whole economy, I said, oh, it's like pine resin. It's absolutely. And so here, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see the picture, but they, here's the pine resin in the bag and then they dry, you dry it out. Yes, and become this white paste that we have in this image. Yep. And then we add it during the fermentation. Okay. Uh, Eleni knows how much and how this is See a here. recipe yep. that changes every year because uh, the, the resin it is an active uh, farming product. Okay. So it doesn't have the same uh, strength, the same essence every year. It changes from season to season. So it depends what you want to succeed and the aromatic character that you want to give. Uh, you will leave it a few hours during the fermentation inside the wine mast and then you filter it at some point. So, it, so and the, here's it, the, the winery is in Thessaloniki yeah, and the vineyards are about 40 minutes away. Exactly. So, so it's, it, it's a you know, modern urban winery, but mm -hmm. uh, the, the grapes do come from uh, you know, proper, uh, what's the appellation? Um this is the first time I tasted the wine and I smelt it and those of the, just, it's like, for those of you old enough to remember Suave 25 years ago, the stuff was anything but great. And a few dedicated winemakers said, no, we can make something great out of Suave. And today you have single vineyard Suave. Suave is like pear pan and they taste like Chablis. They're delicious wines. And so producers, uh, like Yorgos and others are making um, Retsina that is above the norm. And this is, this is so aromatic. It's just so delicious. And uh, tell them the story about the lamb. Uh, so the lamb that we get here is far different than what we have, what we have either in Cyprus where my dad's from or in Greece. Uh, much drier, and they eat the you know pine needles and the and the and the, th the thyme and the oregano, so it's kind of naturally marinated inside. Mm -hmm. But there's a specific time that they they kill them anyway. Explain explain it. So back in the old days, that uh, Greek didn't had uh, you know it was a little bit more I would say poorer country. Uh, the people didn't have the luxury, if I can say it like that. They needed to have a few generation out of each. Animal, right? So they were killing it when it was on a sexual maturity. Got it. Maturity. Uh, yes, maturity. Yeah. Excuse my, my English. Yeah. So uh, eventually, uh, in the flesh, you can smell a lot of the hormones of the animal. Right. So to make it uh, better in the flesh, what did they do? What did we have back in Greece? It was salt, pepper, and rosemary. Simple like that. Easy. So rosemary, it's a uh, perfect companion when you cook something in the oven. Yes. When you have a lot of hours that you cook it yeah. and uh, it, it mix up to, all to, together. So this is what we actually uh, try to, to achieve. Yeah. Uh, because uh, we have this uh, thing uh, saying about the Greek food that it's good when you eat them, but it's bad when you burp them. Burp. <laughs> so in a perfect wine uh, uh, wine pairing, yes. when you burp, you don't have the wine or, or the, the food uh, coming strong, out, stronger. Stronger. it comes in a balance. 
So this is why I believe that uh, we have a, a perfect match yeah. with the Greek cuisine in yeah. general, because Greek uh, cuisine, Greek gastronomy, it is intense. It is intense by nature, yeah. like the people themselves. We, we are loud. Oh yeah. So, so, <laughs> so when you bite Greek food, it is loud in your mouth. Yes. It has something to say, even if you don't understand what it is. It has something to say. It, it has something to say. Also, one other key ingredient in Greek food is lemon. Oh, a lot. A lot. I go lemon acidity because yeah. it wakes you up. Yes. It is the moment when you put acidity in your mouth that uh, your body says, hey, this is poison, wake up, you have to survive. And then you survive and your brain says, congratulations, like some. And we've got now in Vancouver, like some, uh, we've got in Vancouver in our, a couple of greedy, good Greek restaurants that are making classic Greek food that you get in Greece, not pizza that we're what we own by Greeks that we have here. So there's uh, Namos and uh, Lula on uh, commercial, uh, both owned by friends of mine, of course, you know, the community is small. Um, I think Hydra too, uh, and I haven't been there yet. Uh, both, all three are really, really good places. So Yorgos, I'm, we're going to bring this wine in. And uh, yeah, I was actually supposed to go to Greece uh, this year, but my trip got uh, canceled, postponed for family reasons. So anyway, this is one of the longest videos we've done, uh, but it's worth doing. We're gonna, there's only four cases left. I think we're, we're going to be bringing them in. This is delicious wine. And uh, there's going to be more Greek wines. It's probably one of the most exciting regions uh, in the winemaking world for me right now. So thanks for listening. Appreciate your support and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.